Welcome to the Oasis, my name is Mike, and today I'm going to be checking out a brand new VR game called Wanderer. It's a VR adventure game where you must go back in time to iconic moments in history to solve puzzles in order to fix the future. Think Back to the Future and Quantum Leap and you're kind of on the right track. It's releasing today, the 27th of January, on Steam for PC VR headsets and on PSVR. The game will be available for $39.99 in US dollars, around $33.29 in British pounds. In this video, I'll be showing you an early section of the game, and then I'll be giving you my short review at the end. So, I hope you enjoy the video, and let's dive in. Okay, welcome to an early section of Wanderer. And just look at this beautiful environment. So detailed. To bring you up to speed with this story, you play the role of a character called Asher Newman. And you're in this world which is set in the future. It's actually set in 2061 in Boston. And as you can see, the world has kind of gone to crap. Something bad has happened and you're kind of just dealing with it at this point. And your sole mission right now is to locate your grandfather's apartment, which is in the city somewhere. And our friend here is gonna help us find it. The world just looks absolutely stunning. I hope this is represented well in the video, because it really is great. They've spent a lot of time putting tons of detail in this environment. It looks fantastic. So right now, we're on our way to our grandfather's apartment, who's kind of left us a message. Uh, he's long gone, but he's left some artifacts there for us to go and check out. So that's where we're headed right now. Looks like there's some people up ahead. Right. All right. All right, fine. Buckle up, kid. Looks like we're in for a real shitstorm. <laughs> They're not happy that we are here. You fall into this world. <laughs> oh no. Looks like we're gonna need a bigger boat. Damn. Great timing. The boat won't start. <sighs> Hang on to your tidy whities kid. I'll fix Got the it. Boat. Cover me from those oversized handbags. We take too much of a beating from them and we're sunk. Roger that. Wonderful. Here they come. Where? Oh! Not today, mate. <laughs> <laughs> No, mate. See you later, alligator. <laughs> we need an exit strategy. Yes. Um, uh, here, here, take this crowbar and crack open that old emergency kit. Gotta be something in there. Nice. Oh, hello. <sighs> oh, flare gun. Use it, I guess. <laughs> I guess that's not right. What are you Can I shoot the alligators? Let's try that. Oh yes. Nice. What are you looking for? A couple of marshmallows to roast? Ooh. Yes, shoot the one more. Oh no, I dropped it. You can have that one. Let's get out of here. Nice. Nice shot. You're not completely worthless. So after a brief run in with the locals, we finally made it to the apartment complex. This world kind of reminds me of The Last of Us, you know? Like really run down, post-apocalyptic. Looks like a way in here. Let's go. It's kind of creepy in here, I'm not gonna lie. Woo -hoo 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 -hoo! A box of Twonkies. <laughs> My favorite. <laughs> if you like Twonkies, let me know in the chat. <laughs> Looks like this place is long abandoned. <laughs> yes. There's a way in over there. Get rid of these vines. So it looks like we finally found the apartment building. Just gotta find the apartment of our grandfather. Security on board. Okay. Use biometric hand scanner. Now initiating stage two. Iris recognition scanner. Stand by. Stage two, Iris recognize your eyes and I'll kiss you. Nice. I'll miss you. Paul McCartney, lead singer of the Steve Tours. I guess this is the apartment that we're looking for. What? Who is 
is it? Stand and unfold yourself. Why is it so dark in here? Why can't I feel my damn protuberances? Am I? Could I be? Buried alive. Oh, what a fate to befall a man. Just like the Edgar Allan Poe to... Well, uh, hello. <laughs> uh, do I know you? This may come across a lick familiar, but try putting me on your wrist. Got it. Ah, that's more like it. <laughs> now, Asher, is it? Your grandfather left me here for you. To be your confidant of sorts. My name is Samuel. Samuel, uh... It, just call me Sam. Oh, jeez, what happened? <laughs> Time has been cruel to this place. I wonder if we can get this place humming once more. Okay. Or at least get them lights Yeah, let's on. get the power on. Let's take a look around. Let's have a little look. Okay, so to get the power back online, I think we have to use these panels. That's one. Oh, there's another one there. Looks like we're still missing one, though. Tap the button just below my face, will you? I'll show you a pilot <laughs> Nice. Go on, buddy. <laughs> the Fix it. I make. Now, if you ever lost a stock, just push that button and I'll do my best to offer you counsel. <laughs> All right. If you could kindly place me back on your wrist. That is so cool. Cheers, Sam. Would you look at that? This looks like the kind of thing we could jumpstart a small town with. Yep. <laughs> Put thought to shame. If I was wearing a hat, I'd be tipping it to you right now. Well, let's this get this is battery on. going to help us. Nicely done. Well. You ain't just a pretty face then, huh? Hmm. So power coming in. Let's see. Don't need that. You won't find a better fit on Savile Row. Okay, so if you, you match the colours, we should be good. There was a couple more fuses out here. You should do the trick. Uh this way. Looks this like way. you've connected up this contraption. What an ordeal. I'm Hold on to your butts. Power online. Base level now at 50%. Nice. Bringing online tier one peripheries. We're back in business. Let's see what, what else we can you, find in this apartment. And thanking you, ma'am. I'll do. Ooh. <laughs> it's like a Nerf gun. Logical place to keep it in the fridge, of course. So let's see if we can open this door here. Star beamer, which are those things over there. They look like attachments for the torch, so let's try and figure this out. Talk about staring off into space. How is this going to help us? Okay, ten, six, seven. So I guess they correlate to these star signs. Star beamers? It looks like some kind of childish toy to me. Strange symbols on it, though. Look familiar? <laughs> Let's get our torch. So the first number is 10, which is Libra. Not that one. Not that one. Ah, this one. Oh, bless my stars. What is the meaning of all these constellations? <laughs> and there sure are a lot of them. So you can't really exactly line it up. Eureka. This ah, looks intriguing. There we go. Yes. Swipe code phase one accepted. Yes, that's it. Okay. Get I've rid of this one. Access granted. Nice. And remember, I know nothing with any certainty, but the sight of the stars makes me dream. <laughs> Check out this beast. What a strange closet. <coughs> <laughs> oh, you smoke? Oh, bad habit. So these are shards, and you'll find these scattered throughout all the levels. 
and you need to collect these by placing them on the watch and then you can use them to upgrade Sam, which I'll show you now. So let's click him off, grab him, put him over here. I'll be. I used to say, I can't put my big nor small hand on it, but this gadget is known to me. I think I'm the missing component here. Try putting me into the device. Okay, we need five, so I'll go and find them and I'll come straight back. Ah ha ha, yes. One more. Oh, another one. One more. That'll do. Should have enough now to upgrade him. Come here, little fella. Pop you in there. Nice. I've got a little puzzle to solve, okay. Easy. Well, pin my tail and call me a donkey. <laughs> Very cool. Congratulations to Mother Russia. First country to land on the moon. What the well, heck? I know my memory's filled with cobwebs, but Russians were the first ones on the moon? Is that right? That's not right. Where can we find a battery? Because there's a vent there. Huh. Battery, battery, battery. Where is a battery? No, I don't believe it's a coaster. <laughs> you don't even have a drink. But Some of you might not even be old enough to know what this is. <laughs> That's crazy. It's a VHS tape. Away we go. Well, kid, if you're watching this, then you made it. Oh, this far, at least. Trust the watch. Find his counterpart. Cool. As for what to do next, your grandfather mentioned a counterpart. My counterpart. Nice. Let's find that. Let's ah. put things right. The battery. Well, uh, All right, let's go and stick this on charge. And just like that. <laughs> presto. That's the ticket. Having a good vent is healthy. You got it. Nice. You get a handle on things, I suppose. <laughs> get in there. Okay, so we've got to find a number. What about this? I'm guessing this is important. I know you ain't the help, son. But could you clean that picture off? <laughs> Cosmonaut Alexei Leonov. That's better. First man on the moon. And the date, it's circled. 1968. Let's see if that code works. Right. 1968. Yes. Ooh. My counterpart. But, well, be honest. How do I look? Presentable? Now, just put it on my so-called uh, nether region. <laughs> Easy place. Woo! Wait! This fragment thing. This antiquity fragment, it feels connected somehow. Try placing it into my counterpart, maybe. Okay. Here goes nothing. Whoa. Nothing's not done happening. Jumping Jehoshaphat. We're out of this world. Not unlike the way somebody commandeered that silver bird. Huh. Let's hope we do a better job. It's kind of like quantum leap. Keep you're, an eye out for anything you you're taking the role of someone in time. Fragment. That's Leave so freaking cool. What the heck happened to this guy? Dear God, what happened here? Who did this? This moment was meant to be a crown huh. achievement. Oh, come we back. May not be alone. <laughs> as much as I appreciate the scenery, I think we should find out why we're here. Locked. Those metal clamps are fused together. Hmm. We got more chance of getting frostbite in Hades than we have of cutting through them. We need some form of heavy-duty slicing apparatus. <laughs> okay, yeah, Let's yeah, yeah. Back down the tent, son. Back to the sanctuary. Tap my counterpart. Okay, back home. Let's go. All right. Grab it. Nice. 
we are back home. So that's how the kind of time traveling mechanic works. We've got to cut that hatch open. We've got a battery. And there was a disc cutter over there. So let's grab that and head back to the moon. Sesame. Knew these things would be good for some. <laughs> Two antiquity fragments. I ain't this plan. Your grandfather certainly left some red crumbs. Seemingly erased. Whoa. I don't recall that from my history books. I'd surmise that someone has intervened. <laughs> Well, I think this is a good spot to end the video because I don't want to give too much more away in this gameplay. Uh, but now let's jump to the outro for some of my final thoughts. Let's go. Okay, that's some gameplay to whet your appetite. Now onto my thoughts. In total, Wanderer took me around eight hours to complete from start to finish. The story throughout had me completely hooked with the many twists and turns keeping me interested right up until the very end. It's been a while since I played a deep, narrative-driven game in VR, so it's definitely welcome. I won't go into too much detail as I don't want to spoil anything, but you'll be visiting loads of interesting locations in order to change the course of history. You'll have to bend time at your will, or while trying not to completely break it. The interactions with the world feel great, and it's clear the developers have spent a lot of time playing and researching VR games to understand what mechanics work well and feel good as a VR player. There's also plenty of comfort options depending on whether you prefer teleportation or full smooth locomotion. The only thing I didn't like was the forced teleport jumping, but you'll be pleased to know that after the first level, it doesn't appear much in the game. Throughout the adventure, you'll have your trusty companion Sam on your wrist. He's an awesome character who will serve as your inventory, your time traveling device, and you can even detach him from your wrist where he'll fly around the environment and give you hints as to what you need to do next. Sam can also be upgraded over the course of the game by collecting shards and other items which are hidden throughout locations so you can expand your inventory and also change his appearance. In Wanderer, the core gameplay will have you solving plenty of puzzles some of which can be quite challenging, but most are pretty logical and will generally have you time hopping to find the right item for the job. I only got seriously stuck once, and I have to say, Sam didn't help much there, but with some trial and error, I did get there in the end. Tricky puzzles aside, I did also encounter a couple of bugs, but nothing that I would call game-breaking. Overall though, I had a great time with Wanderer, and I would highly recommend it if you enjoy VR puzzle games. In my opinion, it's right up there with the best VR puzzlers out there, such as I Expect You To Die and The Room VR. I know it's early on in the year, but Wanderer is my favorite VR game of the year so far, and I have no doubt that it will feature on my top VR games list of 2022. Hats off to the small team at M Theory and Odd Boy who put this game together. They really managed to pull off that AAA VR game feel, which many recent AAA devs haven't been able to achieve themselves. I look forward to seeing more VR games from them and fingers crossed for a quest port of Wanderer in the future. But all this, of course, is just my opinion. Let me know what you all think in the comments down below. Are you planning to pick up Wanderer? And if so, what platform do you plan to play it on? Do you, like me, love puzzle games in VR? or puzzle games, maybe just not your bag. Either way, I'd love to know in the comments down below. Leave a like if you enjoyed the video and this short review at the end. Make sure you're subscribed for all my future VR content. And as always, I'll see you all on the next one. Cheers.